Hi, Dean from Lane Security here. I've had a few questions around latches and how they work, what they do, and what's appropriate to use in what application. So I wanted to show you, run you through the main two different types of latches. Yes, there are others, but there's basically two different styles of, of latch. Uh, they physically might look a little bit different, but these will indicate what most of them look like. So what's a latch? A latch will look something like this. When it's in the door, you only see the front part, but there is this part behind which goes down to where a lever set or a knob set might be attached to it. And you have this plunger here, which is spring loaded, so it'll always pop back out. It has a flat surface and a, a, a angled surface. So this part's in the door, this part's in the door jam. You have a strike plate, again, might change uh, in appearance, but it's gonna work in a similar type of manner. So when the door is closing, the angled surface here against the angle surface here pushes the plunger in, comes through, when it lines up with the hole, the spring-loaded surface pops back out, and then because you've got a flat area here, you can't open the door until you activate it with the knob set or the lever set. A latch is as simple as that. So this is the kind of latch you would use in any internal application. So if you were, uh, if you had a bathroom or a bedroom, etc. This is not the kind of latch you would use on an external door. And the reason you wouldn't use this latch on an external door, if you have this in the closed position, hopefully you can see this, there'll be a gap between the door and the door jam. With something like this, you can put a credit card in there, simply push that back and open the door. Okay, so with a credit card through in, the, in between this hole, it will physically push that back. And it's, it's pretty simple to open. So you never want to use a latch like this that doesn't have a dead latching feature on an external door where the latch is part of the locking mechanism. So that brings into play this different type of latch. Now, effectively, it doesn't look too much different, but it is a lot different in its operation. You have a plunger that has an angled surface and a flat surface. Now, I can't indicate this on a, on a video, but this is much harder to push in. The reason for that is most internal doors are hollow core doors, they're fairly light. External doors should be solid core doors, which are much heavier. So this is a much heavier duty latch, first of all, so it'll last longer. But the main thing which you've probably already noticed is it has this additional pin here. Now this pin works independently of the latch, And what happens in the same manner when this closes down and gets it gets to a position where it's sticking through the door like that and if you can see it there the pin is being retracted so i'll get that out of the way the dead latching pin is being held in this position here now what the dead dead latching pin does is it stops this from being able to be pushed in now it doesn't matter how hard i push that i cannot push that in i can get a i can get a little bit of movement but it will not push in. And therefore, if you stick a credit card or any other tool like that through the door, you can't compromise this lock. And it's very important that any latch that's being used to lock an external door has a dead latching feature on it. So make sure it does. Any good lock that is being used in that application would have this feature. So you probably already have it on your doors, but it's a good thing for you to check. And always check if you're buying a new lock where the latch is going to lock that you have a dead latching feature.